And as we continue to celebrate Pride Month, you've probably heard the acronym LGBTQ+. There have been several letters added to that acronym over the years. So we thought we'd go beyond the headline on this Tuesday morning and see what that acronym, how that acronym got its start. LGBT is the most common acronym that's used when referring to the gay and trans community. The move to normalize the acronym really began in the 1940s and 50s when the term gay was used as a slang term to describe anyone who was attracted to someone of the same sex. Women also started to use the term lesbian in the 1970s. According to Stephen Petro of the Washington Post, the term bisexual started to become truly recognized as a sexual identity in the 1990s. While the first three letters, LGB, focus on sexual identity, transgender refers to a person whose gender identity is different from the sex on their birth certificate. The letters were used for an evolution towards inclusion, so people can distinguish the different groups within the community rather than being called the gay community. The LGBT abbreviation has also acquired a few extra letters. The QIA has come to include those who identify as queer in questioning, intersex, and asexual ally. Intersex describes a person born with a reproductive or sexual anatomy that doesn't seem to fit the typical definitions of male or female. Asexual stands for someone who isn't sexually attracted to anyone, an ally is a supporter of the community. Those using the acronym will add a plus sign at the end, symbolizing the inclusion of all other identities. 